Hey y'all, guess what? I get to go shopping today and thrifting right up the road from my house in Katy with one of my viewers and I'm super excited. This is Miss Janice Stevens. Y'all know her and love her from our chats. You see her all the time. So I'm super excited to be able to go into Christian Ministries, Katy Christian Ministries, and do some shopping. So let's see what we can find. We're gonna spend money. All right. Helen made this in nine in eighty four. Good job, Helen. Oh, that scale's cute. Only four
cut a quilt. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. We yeah. have a blanket. We have an That's afghan. A, a little bitty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some more back here. I think this one's cool. Yeah, kind of, it's real 70s, doesn't it? Kind of mohair. That's like a runner. These look like military hats. To us. <laughs> Some old Sesame Street. Not way down there. I bet she's not perfect. Okay, we got some treasures. What do you think? I think you did great. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm a happy girl. We got some good stuff, y'all. Wait for the haul.
Okay, y'all, so I'm back home and I'm ready to show you what I bought at the Little Katie Christian Ministries. It was such a fun day getting to thrift with Miss Janice and we had lunch. We went to one Goodwill and the Katie Christian Ministries resale, um, but we're definitely gonna get together again and thrift together. We're even gonna be going to the bin, so I'm super excited about that. At the Katie Christian Ministries resale shop um, in Katie, Texas, I spent, let's see, $26. Here's my receipt. As you saw from the video, there were a couple things that were 50% off. I think housewares was 50% off. And, um, I can't remember if there's anything else that I got that was 50% off, but I didn't get very much, but I do want to show you what I got. I'm just kind of going to show you what's in front of me, um, but there's two really good things, and we were super stoked to find both of these. The first thing that I got, I'm going to hold on to until Valentine's Day, but this is a Valentine book called Strange Triangle, and it says, Nurse Carol and Dr. Mike were about to build a life together, but an intruder from their past appeared intent upon destroying that life before it started. Mm, drama. So I love these old books like this, these little romance novels. Um, this is a 1964 copyright of the book Strange Triangle. So this will be something that I will keep for my Valentine's Day live sale next year. And I told you I buy all seasons all the time and then I stash them away. And it's like I get to see them all over again. Something else that I found was this cute little Western style pillow. It's got red velvet on the back and some needlework on the front, but I have several items, quite the collection of little Western theme going on. So I may be having a Western themed sale coming up. So stay tuned for that. Let me see what else I got. Oh yes, and they did wrap everything so nicely for me. Look at this little sweet girl with her bunny and carrots. Now, I just thought she was adorable. Now, Miss Janice pointed this out to me that it had a chip right there, but I did not see that at first. I thought it was just part of her dress, but it is a little chip in there. It does not have any type of maker or anything like that on there, but I thought she was just adorable, especially for little Easter decor or a little vignette tear tray. So, I also found her brother, I think this is her brother right here, and we know that it's very difficult to find boy statues, but look how cute he is with that bunny and his carrot as well, his little hair sticking up right here, and he did not have any damage that we could see on there. Bunny's ears were in good shape, and everything else looked to be in good shape, so I got this little pair of brother and sister with their bunnies and their carrots, which will make great Easter decor. All right, let's see what else I got. Oh, yes, this one is a little trinket box of sorts, and it's very simple but very elegant. It is a white trinket box with gold trim, and the little lid comes off like this. It's in great shape. It was made in Japan. There's the sticker right there that says made in Japan. So I thought this was just a really sweet little simple trinket box. So I picked that one up. Let me see what else, what else, what else. All right, this one's kind of big. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. This is a Precious Moments and I just got newspaper print on her nose, but it is a little girl with an Easter basket and she's got a little green frog down here and some flowers. And this one says, Hoppy Easter Friend. This is a 1990 uh, Precious Moments. It says it right there. Can y'all see right here? Um, but she is in perfect condition besides the little newspaper print that we got on her nose and on her dress right here. But I just thought she was absolutely darling. So I will have her for sale in my April sale for Easter. All right, let me see what else I got. There's something inside of here. Oh yeah, this was a little bitty. Janice and I talked about this one and we decided that it was super cool, so we picked it up. So it is just a little tiny trinket box. And it, I'm not sure that it's cloisonne, but I do know that it is hand painted in Thailand. It says right there, can y'all see hand painted in Thailand? It's a little round, it's got some beautiful painting on there. 
It's got a little pointed top, little trinket box. So I picked this one up as well. Another thing that I got was it has USA marked or and printed on the bottom, but it is just another, I find these pink colored with this dark gray on it all the time, but it is like an airbrushed. I'm gonna ask Michelle um, with Newton's Cupboard if where she thinks this is made and also Christine, because Christine knows a good bit about this airbrushing um, and Michelle has all those wisdom Wednesdays, so they ought to be able to help me out with this, but it is a beautiful pink color it's pink on the inside now the only mark that I see on the bottom is USA if you can make that out right there so I have no idea if this is Shawnee if this is McCoy I have no idea what this is but I'll do a little bit of investigation and figure it out there is some crazing on it some natural crazing um, so we did think it was an older piece and we both agreed that it was a good find um, we had a great time in the linen section. We found some cool little crocheted pot holders. Now, I have found quite a few of these, so I will put these aside for the fall. They are actually double-sided, so there's actually two sides. They're super thick, but this was a matching set of pot holders that we, were, that we found, as well as this. I thought, I, I thought these colors were really great. And again, same person must have made them. It's the same stitch and everything. But I think that these may have been, Miss Janice, help me out. Were they like a dollar or 50 cents each, something like that? So they weren't very expensive, but I did think there was great workmanship in them. Um, and I will have these for sale in a live sale as well. A couple of other pieces that I found were these little, I think they're like uh, knitted trivets is what I'm thinking that they are. Little places that like a hot pad, but I loved these colors. And I know Michelle at Newton's Cupboard, she has the yellow and the blue in her kitchen in the summertime, I believe. So I'll be asking her if she would like to have this one. And then I have this one that will be in a live sale in the 4th of Ju at the 4th of July. So these were really great finds. Again, I don't remember how much they were. I may be able to look that up on my receipt, but I don't think that they were very expensive at all. No, it just says, it just says miscellaneous decor. So let me show you the two biggest great finds that uh, Miss Janice and I found at this little Katie Christian Ministries. And if you're in the area, I recommend going. Uh, there were two locations. One, unfortunately, had had some damage, we believe, from the winter storm, so it was closed. So we went to the smaller one in Old Katie, um, but it was very nice. So check out this Afghan. I absolutely love the stitching on it. It is very different. And the, the yarn is very thick and very soft. And I showed Christine from Side Street Market, our Afghan queen, um, and she was like, oh my goodness, I just love it. But they, it has tassels on all four corners. And I measured it and it is 50 by 60. So it is a pretty big afghan but i thought the stitching was very different on it and so the feel of it was a great soft yarn and i love the colors so i did pick that up now are you guys ready for this last thing we're not a hundred percent but we did find some we looked them up in the store look oh my gosh we believe that it is Tonala or Tonala inspired, and it does have the brass. We did find some of these. However, I know that Debbie with Our Vagabond Travels is our resident expert on Tonala, so I will be getting with her. I do know that it is not marked Mexico anywhere on this, so it may be a reproduction, but it is in fabulous condition. It has beautiful coloring on it. There are no chips or cracks on there. And I just thought it was beautiful. 
Like I said before, Debbie, our resident Tonala expert, says that for it to be truly to be able to be authenticated as Tonala, it needs to either be signed by the artist or it needs to have Mexico on there. Um, normally it is on the bottom, but because it has this brass piece on there, we're not able to see that. We did see some others that were noted as being Tonala, but I will not be able to call this Tonala without it being authenticated as such. But I do think that even even if it is Tonala inspired, that it is absolutely beautiful. So we both agreed to quickly pick this up. It was actually the first thing that we saw in the store when we went there. So that's all that I got from the Katie Christian Ministry store. And I really don't know what my favorite is. Oh my gosh. I do love the little girl and the boy because I don't have very much Easter decor at all. And of course, I know a favorite is the Afghan there. This is not my colors, but I do have a lot of friends that, that are loving those colors. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. And I cannot tell you how much fun it was to get to go thrifting and have lunch with Miss Janice. She is a doll and I can't wait to do it again. So if you enjoyed the shop along and the haul videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. I am very, very close, if not already at 500 by the time this uh, video posts, but I'd love to have you. My first goal is 500. Of course, my next goal is 1000. And so with your help, I'll be able to get there. Thank you so much for those of you who have already subscribed. I appreciate your support and you watching my videos. As always, until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.